Star Wars Outlaws is painfully bad. Star Wars Outlaws is a steaming pile of shit. <laughs> and it says Star Wars on the, in the thumbnail. Star Wars Outlaws is the worst game I've played in 2024. I don't think this person played Skull and Bones. I've been seeing a lot of hate for Star Wars Outlaws Online, and it's kind of confusing me because I've played it for, I don't know, five hours so far, and it's like a 6 out of 10, maybe a 7 if you're really into Star Wars. It's beautiful, it's expansive, it has an interesting gang system. The sound design is great, it'll make your nostalgia go a little bit haywire when you hear all these familiar beeps and boops from different games or the movies. People bashing Star Wars Outlaws just goes to show that we have been extremely spoiled as gamers in the last 10 to 20 years. This game takes elements from a bunch of different games and shoves them into this one, like Red Dead Redemption's Deadeye and a lot of stuff from Assassin's Creed. It feels like a game you've played before, but at the same time, it feels new and fresh because we haven't had a Star Wars game like this in a long time. All of the backlash over the main character's face is so stupid. Most of this game is basic and bland, but it works and it's perfectly fine. The enemy AI could be better. I've seen some pretty funny footage of people just like messing around with it. All right. The stealth does kind of suck in this game, especially when there's a lot of missions where if you get caught, then the mission is over. The takedowns are so unserious. It doesn't even matter that you're a woman. You punch fully armored enemies and knock them out with like two punches. <laughs> So stupid. Why didn't they give her a taser or something equivalent? It would be a lot more believable. Why didn't they make it so you could sling the secondary weapon that you carry on your back so you're not dropping your weapon every two seconds? I found that really annoying. My favorite thing about the game is just how detailed the world is. It's honestly really cool walking through this bustling world. It feels so authentic. It's amazing for immersion, so... I am really happy for all the people that love Star Wars out there. The few of you that there still are. <laughs> I have to admit, while I was playing this, I couldn't help but think back on how fondly I think of KOTOR. Because of all the freedom those games give you. You can be a Jedi, you can be a scoundrel, you can be dark, you can be light. You meet so many different people that you can bring along with you on your journey. I am looking back with rose-tinted glasses, so... Keep that in mind. But imagine how cool it would be to have a game like this where you could be a Jedi if you wanted to, or you could be a Sith Lord if you wanted to. It's just a Star Wars game without Jedi and Sith. It feels like an element of the world is missing. And I think if that was sprinkled in, then it'd be really cool. Granted, I haven't played the whole game yet, but I'm guessing it's just entirely about like being a scoundrel. One thing I thought that was pretty funny is after you complete your first mission, for the first gang that you meet, you're immediately contacted by another gang. Like your character is super new to this. I'm not sure how another gang could have learned about you so fast. Little things like that do negatively impact my immersion. I want the world to feel believable, even though it's Star Wars. So yes, the game is formulaic, but that doesn't mean it isn't fun. And I can definitely see a lot of people enjoying the hell out of this game. Don't listen to the haters if you like Star Wars. Give it a shot. You might like it. That's what I got to say about this. Let me know what you thought of the game if you've played it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.